this is my audience for my speech. So, the main New Year's resolution that everyone ends up making every year is either to lose weight or just trying to be healthier in general. And it's okay to do this, but while people are dieting, you they need to make sure they're still having a balanced diet of uh, just normal nutrients like proteins and carbs and some other ones. But people mostly try and do these diets to lose weight, you know, but they won't think about that they're not getting these nutrients that are very important to their body because if they're not getting these nutrients, it could end up to leading to heart disease and diabetes and other things that won't be good in the end for them. It's also, you need to make sure that if you do start feeling like you're having some diseases and stuff, that you're checking it out, making sure you're all good because some of these could be fatal like heart disease. But also along with making sure that you're having a balanced diet, you gotta make sure you're not eating too many or too little calories in a single day because they're very important as well. And then you, everyone also needs to exercise even if it's just a little bit. When people end up dieting, it's because they believe they're obese or they're just trying to be healthier. And dieting can be good for some people. And uh, when people do diet, hopefully they're actually doing their research into the diet and making sure it's the right diet that they need to do. And um, they're gonna be doing it correctly because if they're not doing the diet correctly or they're not eating right or it's not the right diet for them, it's just not gonna it, it could hurt them more than it will help them in the long run. But when they do diet, they need to make sure they're getting all their nutrients, like like the nutrients you get from fruits, vegetables, grains, dairy, and proteins. All those everyone needs. It's what the body needs to survive, really. And people eating right can lead to not getting all the diseases that could harm the body. And... Uh, it's just gonna be better for everyone just to eat healthy anyways because it's gonna help them not be as obese, it be healthier in general. And this information comes from a Healthline and they got their information from the Center for Science in the Public Interest. And um, people not only need to watch what they are eating, but the number of calories they're eating as well. <clears throat> People will sometimes eat so many calories in a single day, not even realizing it because they're just seeing something that they think looks really good, but it can be very calorie heavy. And after eating so much of that, it's gonna be not good for them. And there's actually a daily recommended number of calories. For male males, it's about 2,500 calories a day. And for females, it's about 2,000 calories a day. And if you're actually watching the number of calories you're eating, the best thing to drink is gonna be water because there's no calories in it. And it would also mean while you're drinking this wa while you're drinking water, you could eat more food because you're not having to think about how many calories are in your drink as well. And the less calories you eat could also help end up could help you end up losing more weight and just be better for you while you're trying to exercise. And if someone's going to start exercising, it will be good to start eating less calories in a single day, because it will uh, be better for them to not be eating as much, but while still trying to maintain the correct number of nutrients. But you, it's really just watching what you're eating, but also, while you're trying to watch the nutrients, if you're working out as well, uh, protein, you need to make sure you're getting the right amount of protein. There's different things you can get for protein, like uh, protein cookies and protein powders and stuff. I got some protein powder here myself. 
and I know it helps me in the gym when I go or just work out or whatever I'm doing. It just end up help, it ends up helping me build more muscle or helps me go longer. And uh, overall, it's better. But it's really still maintaining the correct number of nutrients in your body. Mm. But if someone is going to start exercising and they don't have protein powder or anything, probably just start off with, or if they're not even trying to build muscle or anything, just starting off with simple cardio like walking, running, or jogging, any of those, which everyone can do because they can go outside on the side of the street and just run or walk or jog, whatever they want to do, and then just go for a certain amount of time or a certain distance, and that would be good for them. And that'd be a very good way to start exercising because it will help start burning more fat and if you're eating correctly it's gonna you're gonna start noticing a difference fairly well and doing diets along with it if you're dieting correctly will also show a significant increase in weight loss and then eventually as you're going on just either increasing the distance or start running for longer just pretty much increasing the distance of the cardio you're doing will be very beneficial because you'll notice your stamina is building, you're starting, you're losing more weight, stuff might, your body start might toning more, but it's be very good to start increasing your distance because I know when I was jogging, I started off jogging about a quarter mile every time and now I can do about half a mile every time. But then even after that, might move on to lifting weights if you're trying to build more muscle than you are trying to build stamina, but it's just whatever you want to do. Um, building muscles more of a preference. It doesn't matter as much as building stamina and making sure your heart is healthy. But I want to leave you all with this thought that it's good to lose weight if you need to lose the weight. No one should just try and lose weight because that's what society tells them to do. Because they might not be, they might not need to lose weight at all, but they. So it's gonna be very good to not lose weight when you don't need it, but good to lose weight when you do need to lose weight. And if you are going to try and diet, you need to make sure that you're still getting all the nutrients that your body is doing. So hopefully you do your research into these diets while you're looking into it. And it is okay to ease into a diet or stop a diet when you need to, if the diet's too hard or just, you don't think you can do it just start off easy and then eventually you could ease yourself into it and it'll be good like that and everyone should exercise while doing a diet because it just be beneficial because either lose more weight and it's just not so better to exercise and i have also tried different diets and i dropped a good bit of weight while dieting but i was making sure i was still doing the diet correctly and still eating the right amount of food so everyone needs to make sure they're having good balanced meals and it's okay to cheat on diets if they feel like they want to need a cheat day, but not cheating on a diet too much. Okay.